This is Inside Texas Politics with Jason Whiteley on WFAA. All right, time for the Reporters Roundtable where we talk about some of the issues of the day. Bernadine Steptoe is joining us, our producer. Bud is back, and so is Alana. Thank you for staying, sticking around, guys. So the question about the session, which is now over, and people talk about the success of, uh, of education reform and uh, property tax reform. What were the politics of that, Bud? What was driving everyone kind of having this kumbaya moment? Well, there were a couple of things driving it. First of all, the, you know, the Republicans told us all along, this is a session to get serious business done. The next session will evolve around redistricting. Then after that, the, the uh, House might be more purple. The Republicans wanted to get serious business done this session. But the other driving factor, and, and who really was behind all this, is those Democratic suburban women voters uh, who, who jumped to the Democratic Party in the last election. The Republicans want those voters back in 2020. The whole session was, was designed not to irritate irritate suburban women and not to pass anything that would make them go Democratic again. Bernadine. Yes. What do you I, think? I think that, oh, Bud is definitely correct. The memory of the 2018 midterm. Also, the uh, big three wanting to get something done. And all, keep in mind, you had a new speaker. And the new speaker was determined that something did happen during this session. I think it was a number of things, but the new speaker and then the big three wanting to accomplish something this session and not go down with uh, divisive issues. Alana, there was a moment where it all kind of looked like it was breaking down, uh, and then they kind of got it back on track. Um, how, how do they find a, how do the Republicans basically work out their issues? Yeah, well, I mean, you talked to Republicans and Democrats. I did uh, so with many of them on the final day. And, and Democrats really felt like they were at the table this time around and able to, you know, not be the opposing party in their minority form. Uh, of course, they gained 12 seats in the House, two in the Senate. Uh, but I think that helped keep the wheels on everything. And again, they appreciated the big focus on these two big issues that were monstrous to tackle in 140 days and, and wanted to get to the finish line. Okay, so we got uh, this week we had... Um, uh, Mayor Mike Rawlings has now endorsed Joe Biden for president. Uh, there are two Texans in the race that he could have chosen, but he went he went for Biden. Bernadine, what is that saying about uh, the viability of a Beto or a Cruz? Or, well, I think, or, or, I think it says more about Biden. Biden has relationships with a number of Democratic elected officials, Democratic operatives, and they and he, he they know him. So he's, they're willing to back someone who they think can win, and they think that Biden is the best person to win. And I don't think it has, uh, it has more to do with Biden than it does not wanting the other two Texans. Are we got about 45 seconds, Alana. What do you think about that? Yeah, I would have to agree. I mean, even Rawlings in saying it, he said, I can't, you know, totally, I love my Texas guys, but it's all about not having Trump reelected in, uh, you know, 2020. And so Biden looks like uh, that shining star still, but we're a long way out from Election Day. And we got about 20 seconds left for you, bud. I'm sort of when those when that Democratic debate comes up, the first ones in three weeks. I'm afraid that Beto and uh, and uh, Castro are both going to be at the children's table. So do you think this do you think this was a significant at all, bud, in terms of a decision? I think that it was a big move by Rawlings. I think it uh, you know the, the other candidates. I mean, Beto is strong here. Castro is strong in San Antonio, but he doesn't have the popularity here. He needed to pick up strength here. Rawlings has kind of uh, cut him off at the knees on that. Okay, thank you very much, and thanks for joining us on Inside Texas Politics. Uh, we have uh, ABC Sunday Morning is coming up right next.